have an exercise today to share with you that is one of the most effective ways to really work those deep, deep abdominal muscles. Think of that area right above your pubic bone, deep down there. So not these upper abs that you feel when you're doing crunches or that kind of thing, but the deep, deep transversus abdominis, the muscles that really act like a corset to hold in all of your abdominal contents, the ones that flatten your belly. They don't necessarily give you that six pack, but they're those deep ones that we really want to work. All right, we are going to show you, I'm going to show you that move lying down on the ground. So come on down and join me. I love this exercise. It's a great one. I used to use it all the time in the clinic when I was working as a physical therapist, and now I just use it myself because I love it. It's a wonderful way to work those deep abs. Let's go. All right, so I like to call this move the hardest quarter inch you'll ever move. We're talking a tiny little movement, tiny little motion. But if you do it right, you are gonna feel this, even if you've been practicing it for a long time, you're gonna feel it. So it's all about the setup. It's all about doing it perfectly right. Otherwise, it's like, what? This is easy, this is nothing. So it's all about control and focus. So we're gonna start by finding the neutral spine position. So you don't wanna be arched in your low back but you also don't want to be pressed so hard into the ground that your pubic bone is, is you know, pointing up toward the ceiling and your butt's lifted off the ground. You want that nice neutral spine position. So you see there's the slightest little lumbar curve in my lower back, my lumbar spine. Um, but it's again, it's not pressed down into the floor like this. And it's definitely not arched. So you want to feel that, again, that nice neutral spine in, in the low back, you want to feel your hip points, the anterior superior iliac spine points of your pelvis. They're those little pointy spikes that are on either side. What I want you to feel is those spikes and then your pubic bone right there, that everything's in a nice little neutral triangle. So if you were to look at your hands, your middle fingers would be on that pubic bone and then your palms would be on the hip spikes. So everything is nice and neutral. If anything, you're erring on the side of the, the pubic bone being higher than the hip spikes here. You just don't want this to happen. You don't want your pubic bone to be lower than your hip spikes. Does that make sense? So we're going for neutral. But if you feel like you need more, a little extra help, then you can err on the side of keeping your low back closer to the floor. Because when the low back lifts away from the floor, it puts a lot of strain on your low back. We don't want pain, we don't want strain. All right, so you find that nice neutral position. You wanna really make sure that your hip spikes don't rock side to side. You wanna make sure that they stay level throughout this entire move. So you're in that nice neutral position in your low back and your pelvis, and now you're gonna lift your pelvic floor, so gently seal off your pelvic floor like you're pulling a marble into your body, into your vagina. I said it, into your vagina. So a marble into your body, and then you pull your lower abs in and up. So it's like you're zipping on a tight pair of skinny jeans. So even now, even if you're just doing this hardcore with me right now, you should feel some work in the corset, abdominal corset, these deep ab muscles that go all the way around, and even your pelvic floor. Everything's kind of turned on and firing in this deep core area. So what I want you to really focus on is kind of here and here. So not so much the six pack, but right here and here, deep in the abdominal area. So we're just holding it strong and steady, lifting the pelvic floor, pulling in those deep abdominals without letting this happen. And definitely not letting this happen. So again, you're keeping that neutral spine and then zipping everything up, keeping everything in the exact same position. Now put your hands on those hip spikes. And while you're doing this, I want you to lift your right foot off the ground, literally a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch. And don't let anything move. So, when you lift this leg up, you wanna exhale slightly, and again, you see it's just like a quarter of an inch, half an inch, not much at all. You should feel that this hip point might wanna lift up a little bit. Don't let it. 
So you want to keep everything really steady and strong. Now, without moving anything from here to here, it's like you're a, in a cement block. You're totally still. You're going to keep everything zipped up, pulled in and strong and steady, nothing moving at all as you put this leg down and lift this leg up. All right, when you did that, did you rock a little bit? Did your pelvis rock a little bit? Did your back want to arch a little bit? It might have. If it did, try again. Keep going. So the whole idea, this is the move. It's really simple. You're just going back and forth, lifting one leg at a time, quarter of an inch, half an inch, maybe an inch, off the ground, but no more than that. Don't do this. If you do this, it's easy. That's not hard. What we're doing is we're shooting for a tiny little move. The leverage increases. It's all about physics, right? So you want to make it hard on yourself. Tiny little move here and feel that nothing in your trunk is moving. The only thing moving is those legs. Very slow, slowly. The slower, the more effective and the smaller the move, the more effective. So you should feel this all the way up and down those deep abdominal muscles, all the way up to your rib cage, maybe even all the way into your back, maybe even feeling it in your back, but not a pain feeling, just a work feeling. So again, it's just a tiny little move. If you want it a little bit harder, you can try bringing your hands behind your head but again, I wouldn't start out this way. Please don't start out this way. You want to start out with your hands actually on those front hip spikes, the ASIS is, the anterior superior iliac spines of your pelvis, to make sure that they're staying really steady and still and that your pelvis is not rocking side to side or front and back. So you want to keep everything super still in the pelvis on up through the rib cage. Breathe steadily with this. I like to exhale as I lift. And again, so slow. Other side. Set your foot down really gently. And then the other side lifts up just a little bit. Set it down really gently. Notice that my low back, my lumbar spine is still neutral. I'm not letting it arch off the ground. Now I'm going to show you, keep going, keep going, but I'm going to show you if I were to just release my abdominal muscles, see what wants to happen. I mean, I want to just like be moving all over the place. When my leg lifts, my back wants to arch. But if you're using your core muscles correctly, it's keeping your pelvis in the correct position, nice and lined up with your rib cage. Everything is nice and strong through here, keeping everything in the position. So the legs are providing the weight. They're like the weight part of this workout. They're the big weight that's trying to make your pelvis rock forward. But don't use your abs to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, let's go maybe two more times on each side. I hope you were doing it that whole time. Oh my gosh, and I can just feel it just burning. Even though I've been doing this exercise for years, I can still really feel this when I'm doing it right. <sighs> okay, so let it all go. Shake out those legs. Twist it out. Maybe do a little twist stretch like this with your knees dropping to one side and then the other. And again, where you should feel that is all the way through these deep abdominal muscles, all the way around, even maybe into your, the connective tissue that hooks into your spine. So that's what we're shooting for. It's like, it's like a corset all the way around. This is a wonderful exercise. If you have a diastasis recti, you can do this exercise. It's a safe one. Um, if you have any type of pelvic floor issues, this is a great one. The pelvic floor and the deep abs are very interconnected, so it's a great one to do if you have pelvic floor issues, um, connective tissue weakness of any sort, and um, enjoy it. I hope you liked that. 
And one more thing. I just started a whole um, fun thing on my in my subscriber link. So if you want to subscribe to my email newsletter, I created some interest groups for various women's health um, interests. So if you go to the link that I'm going to put below the YouTube video in the notes, you'll see a link to sign up for my email newsletter. And when you press that link, you can sign up for one of my interest groups, which range from women's health to feel good fitness to natural living and healthy recipes. So sign up for one of the lists. It's a fun way to get some free gifts and to get to know me a little bit better and um, just have some fun and learn some new stuff. So again, look at the notes below the video on YouTube and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, bye.